Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We've been reading in the book of Numbers. Now, last time we read chapter 33. Now, chapter 33 was basically a review of the journey from Egypt to the Jordan River, and then there was the law of possessing the land, right? So now we're ready to read Numbers chapter 34. This is going to be about setting the boundaries of the land, okay? So this is Numbers chapter 34. I am reading in the Amplified Bible. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the Israelites, When you enter the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall be yours as an inheritance. The land of Canaan, according to its boundaries, your southern region shall be from the wilderness of Zin along the side of Edom, and your southern boundary from the end of the salt Dead Sea eastward. Your boundary shall turn from the south to the ascent of Akrabim and continue on to Zin, and its limit shall be south of Kadesh Barnea, then it shall go on to Hazar Adar and pass to Asmon. Then the boundary shall turn from Asmon to the brook of Egypt, Wad el Arish, and its limit shall be at the Mediterranean Sea. As the western boundary, you shall have the great Mediterranean Sea and its coastline. This shall be your western boundary, and this shall be your north border. From the great Mediterranean Sea, mark out your boundary line to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you shall mark out your boundary to the entrance of Hamath, and the limit of the border shall be at Zedad. Then the northern boundary shall go on to Ziphron, and its limit shall be at Hazar Enon. This shall be your northern boundary. You shall mark out your eastern boundary from Hazar Enon to Shephem. The eastern boundary shall go down from Shephem to Ribah, no, Riblah, on the east side of Ain and shall descend and reach to the slope of the east of the Sea of Chinnereth, the Sea of Galilee. And the eastern boundary shall go down to the river Jordan, and its limit shall be at the salt dead sea. This shall be your land according to its boundaries all around. So Moses commanded the Israelites, saying, This is the land you are to inherit by lot which the Lord has commanded to be given to the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for the tribe of the sons of Reuben and the tribe of the sons of Gad have received their inheritance by their father's households, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their possession. You remember, some of the tribe of Manasseh also wanted to stay on the east, and then some did not. The two and a half tribes have received their inheritance across the Jordan River, opposite Jericho, eastward toward the sunrise. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, These are the names of the men who shall divide the land among you as an inheritance. Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun. You shall take one leader from every tribe to divide the land for the inheritance. These are the names of the men, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of the sons of Simeon, Samuel the son of Amahud, from the tribe of Benjamin, Eladad the son of Chislon, from the tribe of the sons of Dan, a leader, Buki the son of Jogli, of the sons of Joseph, from the tribe of the sons of Manasseh, a leader, Haniel, the son of Ephod, from the tribe of the sons of Ephraim, a leader, Kemuel, the son of Shiptan, no, I think that's Shiftan. That's the way we would say it with the PH anyway. From the tribe of the sons of Zebulun, a leader, Elizaphan, the son of Parnak, from the tribe of the sons of Issachar, a leader, Paltiel, the son of Azan, 
from the tribe of the sons of Asher, a leader, Ahihud, the son of Shalomi, from the tribe of the sons of Naphtali, a leader, Hedahel, the son of Amahud. These are the twelve men whom the Lord commanded to work with Joshua and Eleazar to divide the inheritance to the sons of Israel in the land of Canaan. So that is the end of Numbers chapter 34. Notice God is laying out the boundary for them so that they know what portion of the land is theirs because there's a huge surrounding area of the world around them and he's laying out exactly where their nation is. So, just like oftentimes, God has set boundaries for us, you know. We, we, we don't think about it that way, but if you look at our laws and different things that we have in place, a lot of those came down, really, from God. So, we have a lot of moral boundaries and a lot of, you know, those types of boundaries in our lives. And God sets those boundaries, just as he set these boundaries here. We may not have set, I mean, he may not have set the boundaries like for the country we live in, in particular, like he did for them. But the Lord is always setting boundaries for us so that we know what, what is available to us and what is not. What can be counted as ours and what cannot. He always gives us these, this moral guidance. And that's kind of how I look at this in a, in a strange way. Maybe that's an abstract way, but he's laying out the boundaries for their nation. He's already laid out the law and given them the boundaries of their moral activities and their daily lives. And we have that as well. We have those boundaries just in a different way. The Lord has made our boundaries the law of love so that our boundaries are based on loving and caring for others. So that is Numbers chapter 34. I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.